up, hi everybody, and welcome to a new video. And today we're gonna do Yay Miko story quest that we can could not make because we have to do boss quest first. So let's unlock it. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I took a ton of pictures of these two. Actually, I didn't take one of... Although, to be honest, I kind of like the picture I took, so I'm not gonna bother that. Oh yeah, where am I supposed to go? Oh, right here. been to the Yai Publishing House in a while. Paimon wonders if they have any new books in. The one we read with A that time was pretty cool. The one with the Isekai? Come on, this is a no-brainer, man. There's only one thing worth wishing for, and that is a ton of Mora. But the exam's next week. If I fail again, I'm seriously done for. Exams? I'm better off wishing that my exam goes smoothly. It's just an exam. Trust me, there's no problem you can't solve by throwing Mora at it. If it doesn't work, then just keep throwing till it does. What are they arguing about? It's quite a spirited debate. Huh? Really? You guys don't know? You need but stand on this land at midnight, lower your head and recite a special incantation, then your wish will come true. You don't say. Looks like you guys really aren't in the loop. This, my friends, is the next big thing. A highly effective wish ritual guaranteed to make your wishes come true. A wish ritual? That actually works? Right? Even Paimon knows that's just not how the world works. I didn't believe it at first either, but that changed when it worked for someone I know. It's this guy called Kunihiko. He's practically always been unemployed, wastes his days away, and he owes a lot of money. Like, a lot. But get this. I don't see him for a few days, and suddenly I find him dressed to the nines and feasting at a high-class restaurant. I heard it directly from him. He used this wishing ritual, and the next day he woke up to find his whole bed filled high with Mora. His whole bed was filled with... Wow! I don't know what Paima is because even he's very hungry or very greedy. Kinda switch between these two. Of course, I'm sure the part about waking up lying on a bed of Mora is a bit of an exaggeration. Whether you believe it or not, it's not exactly a difficult ritual. It can't hurt to give it a try, right? If you're still feeling skeptical, just ask around. There are a lot of very compelling stories going around these days. Really? Well, come on! Let's go ask around right now, shall we? Well, if it really is true, then just think of all the more of Hyman could... Oh, and you'd finally be reunited with your twin, too! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Actually, I want to say something, but don't we kind of have more from Ningguan just not to see, consider how late this video came out? Although I try to make this weekly. I think Ningguan said that uh, she's in debt to us or this, she's gonna support us no matter what. Something in those lines. Closer inspection, it seems like there really are a lot of people talking about this kind of stuff. <gasps> hey, see those two? Paimon remembers them from the AI publishing house. One's an editor and the other's an author. Yeah, Last I know. Thought I do mind, for them. Clear like... Uh, clear like the light of the moon? As close as kin with you... No, thou... Wait, thee? Uh, hear my... Summons, right? 
No, no, it's not hear my summons, it's heed my summons. Heed! <sighs> You're never going to get it down at this rate. Hey! What are you guys up to? Whoa! Sheesh, you scared me! Okay. Sorry, uh, Shaggy. Okay. Uh, where did I leave off with the incantation again? Incantation? Are you guys trying out this new wishing ritual stuff too? Junkichi is trying it out to be specific. He's hit a bit of a creativity block recently, so... <sighs> I'm helping him make a wish so that he can move past it. I mean, I obviously don't. But Junkichi never listens to an outside opinion, so all I can do is go along with it. Mr. Shigeru, can you please be a little more accommodating? This is extremely important to me. People have had all kinds of wishes come true. Become more attractive, get rich quick, ace their studies. I'm just a poor, struggling writer looking to get over a creative hurdle. Is that so much to ask? <sighs> anyway, I just know this is going to work. I have a gut feeling about it. The thing about it is that, like, where do they take this exam and what is this exam about, even? I don't think even in all the Japan they have, like, school with the exam and stuff like that. Somebody can correct me, but I didn't see any kind of school around. Didn't you say the same thing when you went to make your wish at the Grand Narukami Shrine? Oh, I just know this is gonna work. I have a gut feeling about it. The Omamori from the Shrine take too long to have any effect on your luck. Uh, Alright, enough of that. Help me get this incantation down. My new book depends on it. <sighs> Look, to be completely honest, I think you need to sit down and have a good think about what kind of story you want to write. Where's all that self-confidence you had when you first started out? Look at you now, trying dubious methods from any old light novel. Wishing ritual comes from a light novel? Yep, Why am it's from the one called a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Why do I feel that be writing written by Shannon or his friend? Or Hu Tao? No. What did you say, Jesse? No, it's most likely a self-published title. It just appeared out of nowhere and took Inazuma by storm. As a fellow writer, I'll refrain from passing comment on how well the story is written, but everyone is saying the wishing incantations it contains are the real deal. Look, Junkichi, yes, everyone's saying it's real, it works, but that's only half the story. I've also heard lots of people saying that everyone who's had their wish granted using this method starts behaving strangely. What's so surprising about that? They're probably just giddy with joy at having their wish come true. sound a little suspicious. Why don't we go to the Grand Narukami Shrine and ask Yaimiko about it? We have one right She's here. the expert when it comes to both light novels and the supernatural. Miko! Great, you're here! Well, hello there, young ones. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. What is this time? What is a guide? Oh? Well, what did you want to ask? Well, we were just... Uh, actually, you look kind of busy. Is this a bad time? <laughs> no, not at all. It's nothing major. L Lady Guji, what do you mean, nothing major? I'm begging you, you've got to help me save my brother. It really is nothing major, I stand by that. Oh, but since you're so curious, let's have him relate the story one more time, just for you. You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji Ai. Please, put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Here's what happened. My name is Kato Yohei, and my brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a swordmaster, so he once asked Sensei Domon of the Meikyo Shisui art to take him on as a disciple. Who? Domon yeah, who? turned him away, 
took one look at him and said he didn't have what it takes to train in the art of the sword. But my brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. But since his victory, he's been acting extremely strange. It's like he's become a completely different person. The doctors can't find anything wrong with him, so I'm betting it must be the work of an evil spirit. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. <laughs> you know, there really aren't as many evil spirits lurking around as you seem to think. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving toward for as long as he can remember, and now it's gone. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. I guarantee you, he's not acting like someone who feels empty and lost. Oh, all right, all right. Then tell me, when did your brother spar with Domon's disciple? About... five days ago. Hmm, five days ago, you say? Yes, Lady Guji. That's a long time for him to be acting up like this. I'm really worried about him. Our greatest wish is to one day found our own school, just like Domon. We can't jeopardize that dream now. Actually, now that I am Domon was one of the three NPC we have out about him having his vision taken away, if I'm correct. Or was it a different Mon in the story? I can't remember. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Uh, well, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Hmm? Whatever. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? If so, I'd love to hear about them. What? Rumors? I... I haven't heard anything. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please, you've got to help me. Miko, he seems really desperate. This thing with his brother sounds really bad. Come on, you should help him. Okay, fine. Then it's decided. Yay, Miko! So you're gonna help him? Kato, whatever your name was, these two guests are trusted acquaintances of mine, and in I fact, did. they are experts in resolving all manner of strange and supernatural phenomena. Exorcisms and that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them. Yeah! Uh, wait a sec! Um, r really? Is that hesitation that I detect in your voice? So, let me get this straight. You come begging to me for help, I actually recommend someone for the job, then suddenly you start doubting me? Not at all, never. Uh, whatever Lady Guji says, I trust wholeheartedly. Thank you two for your willingness to help. Please follow me. Now hold on a hot second, Miko! We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists! <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo-jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. It's a common trope in light novels, right? You just have to have a bit of bravado. As soon as the protagonist gains self-confidence, everything else just magically falls into place. This is not a light novel. This is real life. Okay, this is game's real life. Well, you were the ones who seemed concerned about his situation. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? Besides, we both know you wouldn't be here at the Grand Narukami Shrine unless you had a request for me too. This is an opportunity to demonstrate that you come in good faith. <sighs> this feels all wrong! But you technically have a point, so... Alright, let's go. Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. 
What is going on here? Granted, you can never be quite sure what's going on in Miko's mind, but she seems even more disinterested than usual in Yohei's situation. Talk to the Electro well, Archon. a life set stake here, so it looks like we'll have to deal with that first before we'll get the chance to ask her about the incantation stuff. Hmm, how strange. My brother's been meditating here pretty much constantly over the past few days, but now he's gone. Meditating? Yeah, it's something that he suddenly started doing after defeating Domon's disciple. He just sits there alone, talking to himself. It's pretty disturbing, actually. But that's not important right now. Where the heck could he have gone in his current state? Hmm, this does pose a bit of a problem. If we can't find your brother, well, we can't perform an exorcism with nothing to exercise, can we? Kato, whatever your name was, given the circumstances, why don't you start by going to find your brother and also picking up a handful of salt on your way? We'll need to use it during the exorcism. Okay. Uh, okay, got it. I'm on it. Miko, what about us? Shouldn't we help look for his brother too? <laughs> no need. While What's-His-Face is handling that, we'll take a walk around and ask people what they know about the two brothers. Maybe we'll find out some amusing details. Wow. And I thought I was bad about Nate, but at least I'm not that crude or insolent about calling them that names. Hello, sir. We'd like to ask you about the Kato brothers. Oh, are you debt collectors? Yohei said to tell you not to worry. He'll be able to pay you back as soon as he has enrolled a few disciples. Huh? Debt collectors? No, no, we're not here for anything like that. But, uh, it sounds like Yohei and Shingo have gotten themselves into a bit of a pickle. Well, yes. I don't think there's any disputing that. Those two don't have an ounce of dedication between them. They just hop between ideas and won't stick to anything. Huh? But Yohei said his brother has always wanted to become a swordmaster, and even asked Domon to be a sensei. That's true, yes. Shingo begged Domon to take him on, and eventually, he finally relented. But even after convincing a renowned sensei to give him a chance, he was the same as ever, bumming around in class instead of focusing on his training. In the end, Domon had had enough and kicked him out. But Shingo was resentful about it. He blamed Domon for not seeing his potential, and even declared that he would challenge a disciple of Domon to a duel. Wait, what? That's not what we heard. Oh, how interesting. We heard a slightly different version. My brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. <laughs> Yohei said that? That Shingo trained hard? That's ridiculous. He just lay there cussing to high heaven all day every day. Some training regimen, that is. Yohei did tell me about Shingo winning the fight, but I took it with a grain of salt. You can ask Kenji at the village entrance more about that. He always has reliable information. Oh boy, we get in the web of lies. Hey there, we've come to ask you about the Kato brothers. Oh, oh you mean Shingo and Yohei? Yeah, we heard that Shingo defeated an apprentice of Domon's recently. Is that true? <laughs> yes, it's true. But wait. So are you here because you heard they're starting their own school and you're looking to sign up? We're not here to sign up, but we would like to hear more details about the fight. Well, you've come to the right person. I actually went to watch it. Yeah, but why there's a bandage or what they are called right there? Should we dispose of them? I thought it was a joke when I first heard that Shingo was going to challenge a disciple of the Meikyo Shisui art. But when he drew his sword, oh, he became a whole different person. The way he handled his blade, it was like flowing water. 
mesmerizing to watch. Domon's disciple is no pushover, but he was absolutely no match for Shingo. Is Shingo really that strong? Yep, he seemed pretty euphoric after winning the duel, too. He was celebrating very vocally, saying something like, What a duel. I haven't felt this good in a long time. <laughs> Any other details to share? We've heard that Shingo has been behaving rather out of character since then. Hmm. I'd definitely say that he has more energy than he used to. In the past, he never used to do much except lie around sunbathing all day. But just yesterday, for example... I saw him cutting down trees for the village head. In the space of one afternoon, he did what most people couldn't finish in three days. Not only that, but he managed to fell a lavender melon tree with just one kick. Oh. Hmm, quite impressive. Things got weird after that, though. The village head brought out some tofu for him, and he just flipped out. He shouted, what is that stuff? Keep that away from me, and then ran off. Lady Guji, esteemed exorcists, finally I found you. I found my brother, he's at the waterfall, and I've got the salt you asked for too. Come on, let's go! Oh, as much as I'd prefer to stay and hear some more delicious details, I suppose we'd better be going now that he has been found. Look, look over there. That's him at the waterfall. So this is Yohei's brother. Whoa, he's meditating while sitting in a waterfall. That's pretty wild. Hey, listen, he's talking to himself. Uh, uh. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Can you feel it? Uh, can you feel the feeling of manliness? Found your own school. Ha! So shallow. How can a manly man aspire to something? Okay, too much so over here, thing. Lame! Uh, please, spare me, spare me. I... I can't feel the manliness. I can't even feel the cold anymore. I... I can't take any more. I'm gonna die. Yohei... Yohei... Save me! Save me! Did you hear that? All the nonsense aside, he's going for help! Huh? Who... Who goes there? He stood up! And now he's coming this way! He looks angry. No, don't come any closer! Help! What do we do? Miko, think of something! Oh, poor thing. Yohei, your brother's life is hanging in the balance, and he's using his final breaths to call on you for help. Whatever shall we do? Uh, I... well, how should I know? The way it looks to me is that Shingo feels terribly resentful to you about something. Would you mind telling me what that's all about? I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know. You don't know? But surely you should have more insight than anyone else into how your brother came to be this way? Yohei... I suggest you think very carefully before you open your mouth again. This is a life or death situation. Uh oh. Uh, um. Um. What did you do? Uh, uh, um. Your brother is your closest relative. You must have noticed straight away when he started acting out of character. And yet, five whole days pass before it occurs to you to come and seek help from me. You really expect me not to notice the gaping holes in your story? But... Uh, I... As you wish. It's fine by me if you don't want to tell the truth. But after Shingo dies, you'll be next. It's futile trying to escape. 
Anywhere in the world you run to, it will be right behind your back. After all, you did summon it together. Ah! All right, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. My brother and I used a wishing incantation. We made a wish. The, from that book? You can actually summon a demon from that book? Yes, yes, that's it. The one that's all the rage right now. You just have to recite an incantation at midnight and your wish will be granted. Just like the book described, we drew the magic symbol, stepped inside it barefoot at midnight, said the incantation, and lo and behold, spheres of light appeared all around us. After my brother wished to become a swordmaster, it really worked. Out of nowhere, he suddenly had these amazing sword skills. But his whole personality changed too. And now he's just waiting there right in the corner to have this exposition. Good job, Mihoyo. Never change. Because... I was worried that if he goes back to normal, he'll lose his skills with the sword. If that happens, it'd ruin our plans to start a martial arts school, and we'd be back to being poor. I just wanted to keep this under wraps until we'd managed to get the dojo set up and paid off our debts. So then, why'd you go to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Well, because with the way he's acting now, I was worried that rumors might start spreading that he's gotten involved in the occult arts or something, and then no one would want to sign up as his disciple. So I was thinking that maybe Lady Guji might have a way to get my brother back to normal, but let him keep his sword skills? My, look at you with your ingenious schemes. Stop deluding yourself. These newfound sword skills are not his. They belong to the spirit that has possessed him. You're right, you're right. We were wrong to do what we did. We had this coming. All right, then. Your turn now, my little friend. Toss the salt and then draw your sword. What is what? Oh, hello. Uh, it's the spirit! See that? That's what you summoned. And look, now that Shingo's no use, it's coming straight for you. Uh, save me! Save me! Uh, Miko! He fainted! What do we do now? We do nothing. But you, little one, just a quick fight and this will all be over. <laughs> Who's this? Ah, a fellow swordmaster. Come on, fight me! He's coming! Be careful! Oh wait, is this? Uh, right here. Right now, right here. I'm going in! Oh. Adventure time! I will have order! Woohoo, nice. Stabilize! Time for your arraignment! Motion to compel! Cut down. Like this. <sighs> that was great! Excellent! Whoop. What a rush! I haven't felt this great in a long, long time. He disappeared, but he looked pretty content at the end there. Huh. Well, Paimon sure is confused. Do you know what that was all about? Ah, uh -uh. we can talk about it later. They're about to wake up. <coughs> Uh, what am I doing here? Yohei? Yohei, is that you? Shingo, are you alright? Yohei, I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that I wasn't a useless loser with a sword anymore. 
I even beat one of Dolmon's disciples. I thought we could finally open a dojo of our own now. But then I realized I couldn't control my own body. And there was this voice in my ear talking to me constantly. I was terrified and I wanted to take control of my body back, but I couldn't. And the voice kept talking about manliness. Shingo, we shouldn't have made that wish. We summoned a spirit and it possessed you. Yes. And had we not come to your rescue, your life would have been over before too much longer. Then, the spirit would have haunted your brother until he died of fatigue, too. Thank you, Lady Guji, and thank you for your assistance, exorcism experts. All right, take him to get some rest. He's very weak right now, having been possessed for quite a few days. He will experience a high fever, but it won't be fatal. Remember... This is the price you pay. At this point, I would normally lecture you on the dire consequences of using occult methods to obtain power that does not belong to you. But I think you get the picture now, don't you? Yes, we understand now. We won't do it ever again. Thank you, Lady Guji. Thank you, exorcists. We'll be on our way then. Come on, Shingo. And the city Nico, still in the... would they really have lost their lives if we hadn't gotten involved? And if so, why the heck were you so reluctant to help out? Oh, they would have been fine. Really? I had to scare them a little, though. Otherwise, I hardly think these two lazy rascals would have learned their lesson. So, what was it that possessed Shingo? You saw it all for yourselves. I'm sure you can figure out what kind of spirit had possessed him, can't you? Oh, yeah, he kinda... Hmm, I want to click this one back again. Ah! Hyman's got it! It was an Oni! Correct. Although it possessed Chingo, it didn't have any ill intentions. As a matter of fact, it actually seemed like it was trying to train Chingo to become bolder. Wait, oh, I need have a cross? So that was the speed of Oni? Or actually Oni power? I bet we're gonna get the answer, so... Huh. Fair enough. But it seems like it had the opposite effect. Tossing salt caused it to temporarily leave Shingo's body. Then, you exhausted its strength by fighting it, so it disappeared. Even if we'd done nothing at all, Shingo would have eventually become too weak for his body to host the spirit, and it would have left of its own accord. Of course, it would have been more stressful for Shingo and Yohei that way. <laughs> Still, the experience may ultimately have been more effective than me scaring them into submission with a little exaggeration. Whew. Well, the main thing is that nobody got hurt. All right, seems like we've wrapped up everything here. Come on, off we go. Hold on, Miko. You say everything's wrapped up, but are you sure about that? Hmm? You mean you disagree? Yeah, the book that come, come out of nowhere. Oh, you mean that they got the incantation from that book? Yes, I know the one. Actually, that book's the whole reason we came looking for you at the shrine today. Incantations seem really popular right now. Human beings don't have powers like us yokai. It's quite understandable for them to be interested in incantations to summon the supernatural. That's not the point. The problem is that the incantations in the book are actually capable of summoning spirits and stuff. And loads of people are trying it. This is flashback oh, from what Even then, what humans only summoner? have so much strength. Even if they do successfully summon a spirit with the incantation, it won't stay with them for very long. I really wouldn't fret about it. But who wrote this book? And why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? What do you think, Traveler? You're 
right. Big events in the light novel market should be at the center of her attention, surely. But she doesn't seem to care about this book at all. <sighs> Lady Yai, I finally found you. How do you find Kuroda, us? Kuroda, what are you doing here? I'm here to report on Yai Publishing House's sales for the last month. All the numbers are here. Please, take a look. Let me see. What? We're losing market share? Ooh, the only thing that can actually hurt her, aside from I. Yes, overall bestseller, reader's favorite, and trending ranking, we're being beaten in all categories. One book is topping the charts. It's called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Both of you, back here now. <laughs> Nico, what is it? You have a really scary look on your face right now. Yeah, she cares only when she affects her. <sighs> Things just got serious. A first-hand guide to summoning spirits is an all-round hit, summarily beating the novels of the Yai Publishing House by every analysis. Just what is that supposed to mean? I worked extremely hard to promote our latest featured work, and now a rival book comes out of nowhere and steals our thunder. If this isn't the very definition of intolerable, I don't know what is. I have to come up with a counter plan, and you are going to help me. Huh? How is this our problem all of a sudden? It's always our problem somehow. Paimon, please. Who wrote this book and why? Don't we think there might be a bigger safety risk here? Oh, am I to take it that the safety of the people of Inazuma isn't so important in your eyes after all? Nothing's wrong, okay? Come on. We're going to war. I'm going to head back and make some preparations. Meet me outside the Yai Publishing House. <laughs>